Hello and welcome to Mashable's Air Friday. I am cultural reporter Tim Marson, and on Air Friday, we give you the recipes, the tricks, and the hacks you need to get the most out of your air fryer. Today, we are teaching you how to make a liner with parchment paper. So why would you want a liner of parchment paper in your air fryer? Basically, it's a hack that is all over TikTok to keep your air fryer neater and hopefully make a little bit less cleanup at the end of the day. Something very important about making a parchment paper liner is that you still want air to flow from underneath and on top because you want the air to circulate, which is the whole purpose of an air fryer. It cooks by circulating hot air. So what the hack says to do is take a sheet of parchment paper, I have pre-cut sheets here, and you wanna cut it to roughly the size of your air fryer. So I'm gonna take it and just do a rough trace. Um, I'm not gonna win an art project with what I'm about to do here, but you basically just don't want huge edges. I'm just gonna cut this a little bit. What I'm gonna do now to make the liner is fold it into a triangle and take a hole punch, which I borrowed from the Mashable offices, and punch some holes. This is gonna allow for air to flow through, which is the whole purpose of an air fryer. So you should still have a liner, but it should still let some air go through. It's not pretty, um, it's not gonna win any contests, but it has holes to let air through. Um, the next thing you do is you kinda lay it down in the bottom of your air fryer. So I have an air fryer that has a grate and then inside of a basket lies the grate. I'm gonna put the parchment paper right on top of that grate and hopefully that means less cleanup later. It's time to make some food. Now I didn't have a real specific recipe so I tried to think what's a really messy thing because what we're trying to do is test to see if this prevents any mess. Um, a messy dish that I've made in the air fryer before is a marinated chicken thigh. So what I have here is just your kind of basic chicken thigh, marinated in soy sauce, uh, honey, so well, it doesn't really matter. It's just really messy stuff. So we're gonna lay that down first. Just kind of put it down there. Uh, I'm gonna take some oil and spray it down as well. And then I'm gonna take some broccoli which I also picked because of its messiness, and put it in there with the chicken thigh. I thought it'd be nice to make basically a, a dinner for one. I think that's good. Take some oil, spray it down. We're gonna season real simply because always season your food with some garlic salt. Put a little bit on the chicken, which doesn't need much because it's been sitting in a marinade uh, for quite some time now, which is mostly soy sauce, which is very salty and some pepper, just kind of mix it around. I'm just gonna give it a little shake. Keep the parchment paper in place and season the other sides. And then we're just gonna throw it in the air fryer and see if this doesn't prevent uh, a really gross and sticky mess at the end. Okay, so our food is finished cooking. I have a cooked chicken thigh and cooked broccoli inside. Um, and again, we're just testing out the parchment paper here, but food looks fine. Uh, probably overcooked broccoli, but that's really not the point here. We're seeing how this parchment paper worked. And the real test is gonna be, <laughs> as I spill all over the thing, the real test is gonna be, did the parchment paper stop both the marinade and the rendered fat from the chicken skin from getting on the grate, which is kind of the really hard part about cleaning the air fryer. So it looks like the parchment paper did collect a lot of that marinade kind of in the corner here where the chicken was. It did keep out some of those crispy florets that normally would have fallen through. So what I'm gonna do now is carefully throw this away because you don't wanna make any more mess. And then I'm gonna give the grate a quick clean and see if it's any easier than it typically would be. So I've removed the parchment paper uh, very carefully, but as you can see, the grate is actually still pretty greasy. Um, there's still some cooked marinade, some stuff that has gotten on. I mean, clearly not as much as there would have been without the parchment paper, 
but it's not like it stopped everything. Um, I think it's still going to be, you know, a, a little bit of work to clean it. So, again, not a perfect job, but we'll see if it made it a little bit easier. So here is the air fryer uh, all cleaned out. It took maybe a minute and a half, 60 seconds, really not a long, uh, a long time to clean. Here's the caveat I'm gonna say about this parchment paper hack. Um, for me, and for this brand of air fryer, uh, it's an Instapot uh, Vortex, which has a grate inside of a nonstick basket. It's all nonstick and it's removable. I probably wouldn't do this hack because it just adds another step and it's not really you know, changing everything for me. This is already really, really easy to clean because it's all nonstick and it's removable. Um, some brands where they have more of a mesh net for the air fryer, it's kind of like a mesh basket where you put the food in, I think this would be a much better hack for that type of air fryer. But if you have a brand more like this or you have a removable tray, I think maybe the parchment hack, you don't really need it. Uh, but again, to each their own, it does help, but probably not enough for me to add you know, another minute of time making a parchment sheet liner. So maybe give it a whirl if you have a mesh air fryer, but if you don't, maybe stick with what you're doing.